Okay. Stress builds character. <laughs> Start a direct to consumer meat business. Catinator, pork the pork destroyer. See you boys! June 25th, go get your box. Good afternoon, guys. Today is a big, big day. Really exciting day. Uh, we've been working on something behind the scenes for a couple years now, and today uh, is kind of the start of it all. So I'm gonna take you inside and we're gonna show you uh, what we've been up to, kind of what we've been working on. And no, this isn't this building isn't a hog barn. We didn't we didn't build another hog barn, we didn't buy another hog barn, anything like this. No, no farm building today. This is a little bit of a different, different kind of building. So this is an office space that we may or may not lease depending on if we can get it in our price range. But this isn't this isn't the exciting part. Follow me in here. This is where the this is where the magic is. Or well where, where the magic will happen. Behind the scenes I've been working on something that's always been a kind of a dream of mine. And we've said it many times on on the podcast or on the This Will Do Farm YouTube videos if you've been watching for a long time. Our number one goal uh, that dad and I share our dream is to make our farm viable for the seventh generation my kids and We are doing everything in our power to make that dream a reality. We want this will do farm to carry on uh, Past us so over the last couple years I've been working towards starting a direct-to-consumer meat business and today is the day where we're gonna officially announce announce it uh, and it's called farmer grade that's what the meat business is called. This is kind of what the box looks like. American meat with American story. This is kind of our main logo. And the mission behind this business is real simple. We're a direct-to-consumer meat business that we're trying to pioneer the modern way of buying and selling meat to you guys. Um, and what I kind of mean by that is a lot of these other uh, direct-to-consumer meat businesses out there, they're, they're just kind of a middleman. Uh, the, the big boys, you know, not, not the family farms out there that have direct to consumer meat business but like you know the, you know the ones I'm talking about the big ones a lot of them are just meat buyers they're middlemen they really don't have much connection with the farms they don't have much connections with the processing facilities that they work with if anything they're going to cutting facilities they're going to warehouses with the with a bunch of this frozen meat in there and they're just slapping their label on label on it and selling it to you guys that is not what we're doing here we are going to partner with the most well-known livestock farmers on the internet that are have social media followings just like we do and we're going to give them the opportunity to sell their meat directly to their audience to their uh to the people that love their farm and support their farm their farm and support them as farmers and we're going to just start with our farm first that's that's the goal you know with any business it can be a risk and we're going to take it day by day and i'm going to try everything i can to make it successful and if we get it off the ground then we can maybe try to sign some other farmers on. But to start, it's just gonna be this will do farms pork first. So over the next couple weeks, we are going to show you guys the entire process. That's, that's what this baby stands for, transparency. We're gonna show you guys us raising these pigs, putting them on the truck, taking them to the American butcher shop that we're working with, showing as much as we can of the processing uh, process, bringing that meat back here, to our own warehouse and hand packing every single one of your orders and sending them to your door um, and it's all going to be documented here on our channel and that's what i believe the meat industry should strive for and we're going to try to be the pioneers of that where we're standing right now is the packing room this is where all the all the boxes all the liners all the dry ice all the inserts that are going to go in the box are going to be kept this is where your shipping labels are going to be thrown on the box. This is where we're going to stack the boxes when they're ready to go and get picked up by UPS. And right now, it kind of looks kind of looks like a little bit of a mess, but I just I just closed, I just signed the lease today. So this stuff is from the office because they were showing the office, but we're going to get this all cleaned up. We're going to get our shelves in here. We're going to make it look good and we're going to try to make it as organized as we possibly can so it can run like a Swiss watch. All right, so that's the packing room. Well, that's where some of the magic is going to be done, but where the real magic is going to happen, probably the most important part of this whole building, right through this door. 
and then through another door. I guess if you can call this a door. So like I said, this is where the most important part of the building is. This is the freezer. This is our walk-in freezer. It's about 1,500 square feet. Uh, this is one side of it. A lot of shelves, a lot of space. I'm so fortunate and grateful that I was able to find a place so close in our local community. We're probably not gonna go down on that side very often until we can really ramp up the growth and get more meat in here. But this is where we're gonna be most of the time, down here. This is where we're gonna start. So what's great about this freezer is one, it is big, and two, the equipment does work in here to make it go and make it cool. But three, it is attached to the packing room through this window here. So if you unlock this, yep, if you unlock that, it opens up into the packing room. I think the, the, the way we're gonna pack these orders is obviously the meat's gonna be in here, they're gonna be on these shelves, we'll have one person in here that gets handed a box, goes to the shelf, picks out the cuts of meat that go in the box. Once it's in there, we take it out of this, shove it through this window to the packing room where that's where you'll get your tape, that's where you'll get your shipping label, that's where you get the box itself all packed and ready to be put on a UPS or FedEx truck. So fingers crossed that it works like that, but that's what I'm thinking. June 25th is when the website is gonna go live where you can purchase the box of pork. We only have 500 boxes available and it's going to be a pre-buy website, meaning we do not have the inventory, as you can see, ready to go as soon as you order. By doing a pre-buy, it's going to help me get my feet off the ground and kind of fund the drop. And come July 20th, we have 50 pigs lined up to go to our locker. And in an August, first or second week of August, that's when we're gonna start packing and fulfill those orders. So as soon as we can get that meat and get it here, that's when we're gonna start packing orders. But June 25th is when this website's gonna go live. And I'm so freaking excited to get this thing going. And just remember, only 500, once it's gone, it's gone. So if you want one, go get it. And I just gotta say one last thing. I really could not have done any of this without the support of you guys. Uh, I truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. This idea would have never popped in my head without you guys. It would have never even seemed possible without you guys. But I think there's enough people out there that support our farm, that support how we raise pigs, that want to buy our, buy our pork. And the only way this business is going to work is through you guys. So I, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. I really, really do appreciate all the support that you guys give us. It does mean a ton to both dad and I. So June 25th, go get your box. So dad, what are your thoughts of this craziness? I love it. And this is, this is kind of it. Uh, so the direct to consumer meat business, that's nothing new, but I feel like all these people that are doing, or a lot of the people that are doing it, these, these bigger companies, there's there's nothing behind it. There's no there's no story to it. There's no substance to it. You don't you don't know who you're getting that meat from because a lot of them they're not the ones actually producing the meat. You know, they're just buying it secondhand, putting it in a box, shipping it to you. This is from this is from our farm and not only are you going to meet, you know, you already know us because we're the one raising it, but you're going to meet the people that own the small town locker, the family that runs the locker that processes this meat for us. They are great people. Um, and we were just super lucky to find this facility in our little town. And uh, you're gonna be able to see the whole process. And it's that, it's kind of that old time relationship. You know, you used to know your butcher and you're gonna know your, you're gonna know your butcher and you're gonna know where your meat came from. And I, I'm just along for the ride, uh, but I'm glad to be here and it's gonna be exciting. We can't wait to take you on that journey. So what do you think, Kat? I'm excited for you. Um, honestly, it's pretty crazy because it was like two years ago when Sawyer like spit out this idea of what he really wanted this will do farm to become. Just a dream at the time and now it's turning into reality. So it's exciting and I'm excited for Sawyer and everyone else who's been a part of it. I am excited to pack everyone's pork chops. And much more. That's kind of the big announcement that we've been hiding for years. But uh, like I said, can't wait to get it going. But 
tomorrow morning we got to get up bright and early because we got to go load some american meat with an american story aka fat hogs so we'll see you guys then good morning everybody we're up here at site two it's around 5 30 5 50 somewhere around there it's early up. What's early? I think we woke up at 5.30, 5.15, but our, our loads are six o'clock. We got three loads going out and this will completely dump this site. So there'll be no pigs left after we're done here today. We got the dream team here. We got the best in the business here. Catnator. 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 And we got Torque. Just Torque. Just Torque the Porkinator. Yep, there you go. I don't know what else to say. Pork the pork destroyer. <laughs> you better just stop. I should give you a shovel. Keep digging. Gotta the get hole. the knee pads on. Yep. Gotta protect those knees. Yep. Cats pimped out in the this will do. We gotta I mean, sell these online. We gotta make these. We need my own. We need oh, to pink, get some pink ones. Pink pair. No, I don't mess around pink. Oh, you don't oh, like what no, do you like? No, I don't do pink. Just, I want a dark color with my name See, this is the last bit of pigs we have left in this barn they're all moved we moved all the pigs to the south room and here are all the fatties that are going to be going so good looking pigs they took the longest to grow to be a full market value pig but they finally made it and it's time for them to go so it's been a pleasure raising you guys it's been a real pleasure it's been a real pleasure Oh, you quit. Go make some good bacon. I'm training you. I'm training you. Stress builds character. Come on. Well. Building character there? Yeah. Building character? A lot of character. It will. He's still like, he's still like, oh, enough left. Yeah. That's what I get for running my mouth. Come on, boys. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Yep. yep. Come on, let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, come on. Ha, 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 ha. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Shh. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Come on, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go. See you boys. It's been a real pleasure. All right, so all the pigs are out. They loaded pretty good. Glad to have them gone. Glad to have them done. 
one more group fed a lot of people so now what we got to do is we just got to get this barn all ready to go for the power washer so we'll we'll flip the feeders we'll put down the mats we'll put down the nipple bars put them on the gate and uh power washers come make it nice and nice and clean spotless you could lick on the slats if you wanted to and then it'll be time for another batch of baby wiener pigs any final thoughts on this group of pigs this was a good group of pigs and if they were all like this i'd build more barns because they were pretty easy plus you chored them so i didn't have to do anything other than show up and load them i really like that i wish you'd just do them all i'm almost a seasoned citizen i got my aarp membership uh pamphlet yesterday might be time. Social Security in just another 10 years, you'll have it. Yep, I told Trish we're gonna move to the villages and put an upside down pineapple on our door. You're terrible.